Yo, what's going on everyone? Um, for the last year I have been very pessimistic about the future of Arcane Legends. Um, after they released the Nightmare expansion I really had my doubts whether or not this game would continue growing or if it would sink like the Titanic as I always said. Um, yesterday however I opened the forums and yeah I noticed that there were a few threads in particular which really drew my attention and I am actually very optimistic about these threads. Guys, let's have a quick look together and see what to expect. So first of all, this was the first thread which I found yesterday. It's a thread created by Gary where he asks our feedback about the winter event. A thread like this is something which I, I can't even remember the single time the, the single uh, time that they asked for our feedback on a certain event. This here means that they are going to do changes and I think that these changes will be good. Um, I obviously still have in the back of my mind the fact that they took away all of our energy essences and all of our forged energy kits. But I do think that concerning events, we might be up for something great. So this is coming from a very pessimistic person, guys, but I really like this threat. I am, I, I, I am a bit scared to scroll down and to see what people, what kind of feedback that they give. However, I mean, there isn't that... I mean, people's opinion should be the same. I mean, I'll give you my feedback, guys. This event itself was, for me personally, the best event ever. Because I have made, I think, I looted four artifacts and six or seven green Arlors. A heroic Krampus egg and about five event crates. Uh, is it heroic Krampus? I think it is. So, I can't complain personally. This set... The points required to get Platinum tier were way, way, way too much. Um, I understand that you increase the points required for Platinum tier, but make sure that you have a unique reward when doing that. I mean, the reward for reaching Platinum tier was absolutely awful. And the only reason for why that I got Platinum tier so fast was because I wanted to take full advantage of Shadow Spire and the Shadow Spire drops. Um, and this is what really paid off for me. I mean, I got extremely lucky, I'm aware of it, but you can't say that I didn't warn and inform you guys weeks in advance to make sure that you would grind your way up to a maximum tier and then farm your ass off every time the dragon would be awake. I am a bit disappointed in the drop rate of the green Arlos. Um, personally, I rather had no green Arlor myself and a few Arlors dropping over Arlor, so that that... So that the value of the green armor, Arlor, I mean, would be would be high. I mean, currently it's, I think you can buy it for like 1 million. And I think that it, the, the rarity of the Arlor itself is, is gone. That's a pity. Um, that's my feedback. Um, I also was a bit confused about those Shadow Spire Lexus. Um, people kept on asking me, do you need to use that Lexus to get an arcane artifact or an Arlor or not? And personally, I am still confused about it. What I did realize after a few days is that you had to have gold tier in order to be able to use them. So that doesn't make that much sense to me. And I wish they would be more clear in their explanation on the forum pre-event. Um, rewards, I mean... Previous events, they would give us heroic pets. This time, I can't even remember what you got for reaching gold tier. I think a bunch of crate tokens or something, which are completely useless. Um, yeah, and yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't. The event ended yesterday, and I already forgot about the rewards. Um, they were not good at all. I, I really hope that they next time can put some time into making some unique and useful rewards. This will really encourage people to play because what I see now, what I saw now, was people just logging in to fight the bro dragon and then immediately sign off again. Um, plus, obviously, people were online to to waste all of their forged energies. So yeah, that's my feedback about for this event. Um, I am, I am, really, really, really. Something deep inside me tells me 
that the next event is going to be a good one. But please don't shoot me if they fail, guys. I mean, I know, I, 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 I am a bit skeptical. Then again, I mean, the positivity is ruling at this point in time. So I am really looking forward to the next event, and I do hope that they will deliver. Then the second threat which I wanted to discuss, guys. Let's have a quick look here. That's this threat. Most annoying bugs. This is very, very good because here people can give feedback in general. You can post a list down with all of the stuff which has been irritating you in AL for the last couple of years. Make sure that it are bugs still. Don't, don't. And, and, and please, if you are going to post in this thread, don't, don't post like retarded stuff like oh i can't help it that slacky i am i am angry that slacky looted four artifacts and i looted none because i wasted 10 to 20 million on our on fucking shadow lakes don't do that if you give feedback in this trap make sure that it is constructive don't bash them be polite make sure you write it in proper english and and and, and just write down everything guys i am i am not convinced but i'm quite sure that they are reading this thread and that they are going to fix lots of these annoying bugs myself unfortunately i got banned because something related to salt but if i still had an account i would definitely post in this thread guys yeah so positive very very good that they ask for our feedback then guys Get ready because this is even better. This is this is absolutely amazing. Where is it? I hope that I find it. The community letter has returned. Community letter. Back in the day, there was a developer who would post a community letter. I think every month or every three months, people could post their feedback in there, and peep, and they would give us an idea about the the um, projects which they had in 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 mind for arcane legend so they would discuss the future of al together with the community this is very very good and i do hope that they will do this on a more regular base um, and i i hope that they keep at it what i mean by that is don't just post this one letter today but keep make it sure make sure that you post it every month or every three months this is what makes the communication between player and community this is what helps a lot this is what you need guys i am digging it i like it a lot and um, let's read the letter itself guys i mean i i really wanted to make a video uh, out of it because i really know and i was aware that i was not that happy with the current state of the game um mid 2017 but i am i am feeling positive about these three threats in particular okay let's have a quick look guys 2017 last year we had almost 100 updates to al some were minor some were major where is the quote on quote on that bro your game has not been good for the last year it was absolutely awful and the fact that they lied about PLA is something which I will never ever understand. That was very rude towards the community. This said, let's have a quick look guys. So, um, I don't agree with, with the 2017 part. I mean, he has to stay positive about his own games. But, let's be real for a moment guys. AL 2017 was shit. Simple as that. This set, I am. This set, 2018 might be better, especially because of this thing, guys. We are doubling down on Arcane Legends this year with bigger events as well as our biggest expansion ever. Um, this is this is huge. This is absolutely massive. As not not really this, but this. That means that they are going to put more people on AL and that, that they are really going to focus on AL. I guess that they learned their lesson with all of their other games, guys. I mean, I have been saying it since mid-2017. Never change a winning team. Why on earth would you make another game when you have a success game like AL? Doesn't make sense for me. Never made sense for me. But, I mean, okay, we all know that the stuff can be a bit weird at times, but... We also know that they can absolutely fucking deliver us an amazing game. So that's why I am so positive about this. I really hope that this won't bite me in the ass if they fail. But I am really taking things positive now, guys. So I hope you people will do the same. Um, what are they going to do? So they are... Let's see. 
Uh, this, these four events are the biggest ones, yeah, in the year, that's right. Then the little events, the minor events, they're going to expand them. This is very promising. I am very, very curious to see what they're going to do. Hook Tulu, by the way, that's the uh, Valentine event. So they have one month left to make something good out of it. Um, we'll continue to intersperse quality of life improvements. My goodness, I have a bunch of those if you want my recommendations, bro. Uh, yeah, stable management, anyone? Yeah, 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 very good. Weekly micro events like sales, two times event. Dad. This, this gives me the chivers, guys. I, I love two times events, but please, 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 don't don't come with your two times Hauntlet token and two times Cryostar coin event and stuff. I mean, we really need new stuff, buddy. New, new, new. These events, these micro events, like, like he calls them, there are some of them which are like three or four years old, and that doesn't make sense. This is what pushes people away. Instead of inviting people to come and play again. But I am really digging the quality of life improvements. And for example stable management. I mean yeah 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 very good. Okay let's see. Small holiday vendors. Yeah I mean a vendor is nothing uh, interesting for me. But our intent is to give you something big to play every 4-6 weeks. Woohoo! That is amazing. Something big to play every 4-6 weeks. Guys, mark this down. Every month we're going to get something. Jesus Christ. Next up is Hooktulu. Yeah, I just said that. Despite our best efforts to stop him, Cinco could not help himself from updating PLD LNSL last year. Accordingly, we are not going to stop him from this year. Okay, so they are going to put more time into developing PLDL and SL2. Uh, whatever, I don't play those games, I don't like those games, and I am also not really a Chinko fan, but whatever. That's just personal. I mean, the guy does his job, he gets paid for it, so sure, carry on with whatever it is that you're doing. Then, new game that development, this will be good. All business have... The need to innovate. Two years it was Call of Champions. Call of what? That game was one of the biggest fails ever. Last year brought Pocket Legends Adventures. Sorry guys, I am really sorry, but that game is a fail too. I I, 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 I mean, I, come on, I warned you, don't do it, but they did it and there you go. That game is so focused on making people buy platinum it is unreal it is really unreal not good at all i do not like it again some were well received and some not so uh, yeah you can say, say that again but it is in our nature to continue to try and find new ways to surprise entertain and delight you very well said i mean he took that phrase right out of the book but don't change a winning team focus on your money maker buddy oh, man, 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 man. i get tilted when reading it we have some new ideas for this year, but we'll keep them under the wraps for now. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I am not liking this, guys. Ooh, this is not so... Not so... Yeah. Uh. Just a heads up. Expect more and continue different things from us. Don't fail, bro. Just focus on AL. Ah, whatever. Old games shut down. What's this? On Friday, 12th January, we will be shutting down the following games. Call of Champions. <laughs> That's such a fail. Battle Dragon. I don't even know the those other games. What is this? In Battle Dragons, Battle Command, Battle Growths. I mean, yeah, I get rid of them already. Delete them already because they hurt your name um, instead and that they promote it. Shutting down games is a new thing for us, but it is standard in the industry. We are shutting these games down to further focus on our existing Legends games and new game development. We very much appreciate all the support from those who played these games and hope to see you in some of our other ones. Yeah, okay, I, I completely agree. Get rid of these trash games. I don't even know what they are, except for Call of Champions, which was you know, probably the biggest fail ever. And then to end things up, to wrap things up, thank you. Finally, I would like to sincerely thank everyone for their support over the last year. I wonder if I'm getting thanked too, guys. But yeah, I mean, 
yeah, maybe I am, guys. You never know. Your passion about our games is astounding at times, and we are flattered and grateful. Unban my account and bro, because no one is as passionate as I am. Whether I'm being pessimistic or optimistic, I always say things the way they are. We'll keep trying to delight and entertain you. Keep letting us know what we can do better. Very well written, amazing. I am, I am really digging this, guys. What is there what you really need to remember out of this little community letter? First of all, biggest expansion ever, biggest events, and one big event every month. This is so cool, guys. Really, really, really cool. All the rest is nonsense and not related to AL, but whatever. Very cool. Then, yeah, that is that, guys. That's that's the end of this video. I, I saw these three threads. I opened them. I read the top part. And I decided, like, I can't believe it. I have to make a video about this. People need to know what's up. People need to know what to expect. And people are allowed to be a little, more, a little bit more positive. Um, guys, if you have an account on the forum which is alive, which is active, um, go post in those threads, eh, guys. I mean... They ask for our opinions and for once I am quite sure that they are actually going to follow up on the ideas, suggestions and feedback which we post in those threads. Personally, I have posted a shitload of feedback in the past but eventually it ended with me getting banned for being too salty. Um, I'm not going to make a new forum account guys, I am. that's not my thing, I'm not interested in doing that but... If you care for the game, if your English is, is um, good, go post on the forums, guys. I mean, yeah, I've seen some brilliant ideas in my comments section on YouTube. And I am convinced that there are a few masterminds out there who can give them some amazing feedback. Which will res result in an amazing game again, guys. So, yeah, it's only the beginning of 2018. But me, for once, I am being very optimistic about... Um, the changes and the new things which they are going to give us and um, i know last year i was very pessimistic about it at the end of the winter event i was still pessimistic about it but these threats actually changed my mind and i am feeling rather positive about it again so yeah guys that is that next video hopefully tomorrow let's have a quick look if there is a, a weekly update where is it how do you do that here voila Let's have a quick look. Maybe it's there, maybe it's not. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, uh, nee. No. Let's see, maybe in general discussion. Nope. Nah, that's okay. Maybe later today, maybe tomorrow, or otherwise next week, guys. Um, so next video, I'll try to make something tomorrow, as I'm going to try and loot a core from the Cryostar uh, boss. So you can expect the video tomorrow or later this weekend or week. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Comments, suggestions, feedback, post them all down below. I appreciate it. And as you know, I will respond to everything. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.